Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Lost World for PC. In today's part, we're going to Desert Ruins, Zone 1, where we will encounter giant worms! I like the music of this area. Me too. Oh, poor little bunny! Aw, uh, he's been just waiting. He's been through a lot. They may be they may be underwhelming, but just wait until they become Gary Stews in in, in forces. Oh god. Oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> the magic oh, no. He's brought up the conk! You made it- you made him bring out the conk! What is wrong with you, man? Does the comics ever explain what the heck that is, I... Um, they say that Eggman found it, know. and that it's used to control the Zeddy, and they reveal the name of it. Otherwise, no. I do remember- did, wasn't it you or someone else who mentioned that, like, um, there was an, there was actually a, uh, comic based on, um, Sonic Lost World, also by Archie, which actually explained how he got the Conquer, something like that? Or how he met up well, with the Well, no, Zeddy, it didn't explain- Probably. No, it didn't- Well, no, I remember explaining it. Here's basically what the comic did. It basically showed Eggman first going to the Lost Hex, it showed his first encounter with Zavik, it showed him using the conch on them for the first time, and then it showed, like, the last- and then just showed the opening of the game. Ah, uh, okay. Cause I, Cause I thought I heard something that like said that like somewhere- Ah, uh, you missed it! Go for it again. You're going oh. back? Yes. You are crazy! No, say, I'm, I'm, so I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! You're oh, still crazy! Careful with the sand, careful with the sand. Oh boy. Yeah, unfortunately thick. the sand is much like that green muck in the uh, underground caverns. It'll slow you down immensely. Yeah. Well, but... Wait, but no, because I remember hearing that, like... Ah, oh, no! You missed! I heard, I yeah, you're wasting our time that, here, buddy. Nice. All that for a life. Oh. Hey, I need all the lives I can get in this goddamn game. Because I remember hearing that there was actually an Archie comic that actually, like, outright had other Zeddy in it. No, I had, oh. no, there weren't oh, other boy. Zeddy. It Look was just, it was the same seven. And also, James, do you talk about how you need all the lives you can get? Must I remind you of the Yoshi Island Zone, which pretty much makes life a complete non-Devil Dame issue. Well, to be fair, that's the Wii U version. I'm playing the PC version right here. That okay, is true. true. You are playing the, the PC Zelda, version. The Zelda version. Now, that being, that being said, um... It, it, uh -oh. It's funny mentioning it because um, wait, it. back when this game was initially back when this game was initially released, yeah. But anyway, um, back when this game was initially released, um, lives were actually rather hard to get because uh, up until uh, up wow. until a certain patch, um, the whole 100 rings getting you an extra life thing was not present. Really? And then people bitched oh, yeah. about it and they added it in a future patch. Well, yes, uh, the Steam you, version you play about that. Like. I was about to say, the Steam Oh no, the Steam version does does okay. still have that whole. It does. Like, but it's pretty much running. It pretty much uses all the uh, patches from the Wii U version, like being able to control your Wisp with, with actual buttons. A different, a different Wisp type. Yep, this is the Eagle. As far as I'm concerned, it's only in this game. Yeah. Yep, it's exclusive. And oh boy, was it. And boy, was it kind of awkward in the Wii U version again on initial launch, because again, like. For some reason, they thought it was a good idea to have all of the Wisp be controlled with either gyro controls or touch controls. Sometimes, sometimes it was it was okay, I guess, but other times it felt very weird. Did this feel mm -hmm. like Star Fox Zero? It felt like Star Fox Zero minus. Like no, this doesn't really feel very fast for something. No, it doesn't. Not really. But then again, would you really want to go fast with this kind of with with this kind of control? No. Honestly, yes. Right now, yes. I want to get out of here. Sorry. Go, go, leave. Ooh, ow. Ow. Wait, that you got hit after you freed it? Oh no, it's a fire. Ow. Yeah. Because yeah, I was about like, to say that would be, be so fire. weird. It'd be like it's the, the fire. Squirrels. Yeah. It'd be so weird. It's like hey, you free the squirrel. It's like hey, you jerk, and it smacks you. <laughs> I wanted that robot body. I was cool. Predators didn't kill me back then. Oh, what you gotta go and do that for, man? Uh, are you okay? No, you. No, I'm not. You idiot. Devil that was damage. my life support machine. I, I was actually <laughs> half tempted to reference <laughs> that. that I felt so trouble. bad for that glitch. <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that. I remember the. Uh, oh, cool, man. 
Yes, I was just referencing that. Yeah, that one. I, I, I recognize a laser sting when I see one. No, that's just a plunger light. He was just shining it on you. Yeah, just shining it on you. Okay, that's it. What did you get, man? No, seriously, what is that from again? <laughs> it, was some, it was just about some some animation of so oh crap, run, run. It was from Sonic uh, Paradox. I think it was volume four. But maybe, but basically the, the, the premise of it was Sonic was just like living in like an apartment complex, went down to like figure out what all the noise was about, to find it was two bad mix, uh, meta bug and a uh, and a. A bomber, bomber and a uh, and a boat of bug, yeah. Yeah. Just playing the games, you're like, hey, hey. As, of course, he starts distrusting. Huh? I, I can't. If I explain the whole thing, I think it's well, true. Well, I just wanted. Well, to, I want clarification because I honestly don't remember that skit. Uh, I sort of do. Like, I like at the very, very like the, clearly. Like, yeah, like at the very end, the robots, like he literally beat down the robots, and they, well, you saw what their animals were like, and they were like, yeah, not cool, man. Oh, I like that guy. Mm. Just paid that off. Anyway, well, those animals that, were kind of ugly. Well, yeah, they're scruffy. They're they're homeless. Oh gosh! What is? Nice. So um, let's see. I, I assume quicksand not good. Cool. No, no, it's not good. I mean, you clearly see the hole. See that little hole over there? Yeah. The same spin ball. So that's no good. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, hazards like again the sand does, um, it practically cancels out your, um, infinite spin dash, so that's not fun. Yeah. Yeah, i oh, careful. Yeah. Actually, going back on a previous topic that we sort of brought up, yes, the, like, yeah, the music for, the music for, uh, Desert Ruins is pretty good, and honestly, Sonic, Sonic Lost World's, um, soundtrack, I think, is horribly underappreciated. Me too. It's nice, it I just... It kind is, yeah. Sonic, I mean, okay, I was never a fan of all the jazz for the Zeddy. I didn't, I just didn't think it was... Where did that bell go? Really? It's like, where did that bell go? Why yeah, it went, it, it landed right on top of that worm. Oh. Oh. I know, Let's I was not say, get it's eaten. Funny you mentioned, like, the, it's funny you mentioned the jazz for the Zeddy, because honestly, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of the Zeddy theme is the first phase version of it that has a banjo in it. Yeah, I like really? that version. I just, I just oh yeah, a lot of saxophone and nice. Yeah, I I will admit the viol like the violin theme for the Zeddy, I think it's okay, but I kind of prefer the first phase where it literally is just like some sort. Of, honestly, it feels like something more befitting for Eggman than the Zeddy. Yeah, I was gonna say I will say my favorite. Uh, I was gonna say my favorite theme is probably the theme you hear during the water auto grind sections. Same, the same. Theme Bob Segway. That is honestly my one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Sonic theme. That one's great. It's so peaceful, so it's serene. Even oh if it's not completely fitting of Sonic. Oh, now we now we meet up with our new Zeddy. Zom nom. Holy Zom -nom. shit. Hi, Zom nom. You. <laughs> you. <laughs> that coming for a Meg Man is kind of hilarious. I love how he just I love how he just says you. Okay, moving on. Here you go. Have a sandwich. Oh, oh boy. God. Christ. Doom. And he's oh, just yeah. bouncing all over the place. What a happy idiot. <laughs> help me. He's just Eggman's, like, oh, help me. Again, it's so, again, it's so weird, but like, I genuinely think Eggman steals the show in this game. He, he really, does. really does. Oh, I love this track too. Oh, this song, like, honestly, I can't think of too many songs in this in Sonic Lost World. So Whoa! I don't like. This one and the special, uh, the special, um, is, it, is it three? I think it's the next one or the one after. I think it's the one after that I love. The, the little, little, little spoiler for people who haven't seen this game, but the special zone in this area. Special zone? Special zone, special zone. The little um, twist that they Oh, pull. you mean... Oh, I know what you mean. The, you'll have to... Dessert. Not that one. The one where it plays with your... The one where it plays... The one where it plays with your expectations and then uh, an egregious typo leads to a completely different area. Oh, oh, the mountain. dessert place, yeah. Well, there you go, spoiling it. Specifically not oh, like they care. It's like, to, 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 to be fair, this game's already like four oh, years old. Yeah. God, it really has oh, Dear God, it has been four years, hasn't it? Okay, I have a question. Since we, at what time period does it not become spoil-worthy? When people stop caring. Uh, oh, not actually. sure. I would say maybe two or three years. Really? Maybe. Maybe even less than that, because let's be fair here. After, like... Like, say with Splatoon 2, for example, that game's already been out for, like, what, um, several months now? And I think everyone's already, already, already spoiled to death, like, the like, yeah, exactly. 
or Bendy. It's been out since well, February, and everyone knows what happened in chapters one and two already. Well, that type, technically the game well, is not the issue is that to places like Tumblr, spoilers don't exist. Right. Yeah. I'm saying the issue is that some people believe in spoilers, other people believe in I want to be the one who gets the answer in first. That way, everyone goes to my channel, gives me all the website hits. Also, a cross. Oh, a face. Also, I'm sorry, we were talking oh, over Zomnom's dialogue. Is he any interesting? Oh, nope. look at him. I love that pose. I was actually like, about to. Come on, any minute now. I actually was about to bring up that pose of Sonic do doing like that skydiving, but thankfully, James actually showed it off. Oh. Mm hmm. So yeah, here's here's Zonon's boss fight. It's well, I will admit the set piece is rather unique, but it's still a very easy. He's boss gonna fight. land on the spike, is he? Yeah. No. 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 Just if only. Up, just charge up fully, and I think do that two more, one more time, and you're good. I think I'll oh. I think, I think both Zeddy. Oh. I think both Zeddy usually go down in two fully charged coming attacks. Yeah. Nope. Will we, will we get the flat side, or is he gonna go again? He's gonna yeah, go again. Get the flat he likes us. He has the flat good. side. Much easier. Very generous. Th That's very sweet. generous. This fat fuck. <laughs> and now for a mercy kill. I just love like he falls so slowly, even though he's so <laughs> level and fat. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yay. Now, honestly, looking back on the Zeddy, I think the one major problem I do have with them is like they play way too deep into their stereotypes to the point where they where it kind of feels obnoxious, especially with. Oh Zano. my God! Yeah. It's the cliche. It, exactly. It's a it's a cliche they don't even they don't really do anything unique with, and it's just obnoxious. Activated. Wait, what? 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 What extractor? What? So oh. Eggman's got himself a planet extractor. Pretty much, he's gonna suck away the life force and convert it into some sort of power source. Oh jeez, the Minecraft He's sucking trees. up no. all the green. Gas. Good, good. All the map. Mm. And Cubot's gonna help himself to some. Go. Oh, oh yeah, that's the stuff. You idiot! Put that back. But I love Mountain Dew. Action unstable. Or it'll lock into overload, which would drain the whole planet. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Now that's something interesting. Which, uh... The machine is unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Good call. <gasps> but someone oh. has better plans. But yeah, that's one. That's something I like about Eggman is that he's evil, but he's evil with yeah, it's like... reason. Yeah, it's like reason. Yeah, even though, even though, even though, even though, there it oh, is. That doesn't oh, look like, much like a desert. Oh, oh sweet. Like... Oh, sweet mountain. Even I missed you, good, so. sweet mountain. That's not I a see... desert, that's a dessert. Dessert I see ruins. donuts, I see like, Twizzlers? Yep, we're we'll we'll on Little Twizzlers. Welcome to Ew. Dessert yeah. Ruins. And like I... Why, because Dessert is ruined? And like I said, I'm not... Yes. And like I said, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> Sweet Mountain the Saint. Yes! As it's someone not... on a diet, I hate this level. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, unfortunately, Logan, we're gonna be here for a little bit, so try to contain yourself, man. So anyway, I um, hate yeah. <laughs> Leave. No, fine. No. But, Those but, are the I, things but, I um, hate. Yes, Eggman didn't want. Yeah, Eggman didn't want to uh, destroy the world, even though he's clearly tried that. Well, that's time. True. I mean, remember on Leech where he literally well, blew it in chunks. He did destroy the world, basically. Well, he blew it in then... chunks, but they didn't wasn't destroyed. He could still take over those floating regions. In fact, I think that's what he kind of tried to do in the Unleashed adaptation of in Archie before they kind of went belly up. Oh. Yeah, you know, thinking about it, like I think someone's already brought it up before, and I know we should probably save this for when he eventually do Unleash, but like Eggman literally succeeded where Professor Gerald did mm -hmm. not. Nope. Yeah. Well, yeah, to be yeah, fair, Gerald's yeah. plan was to was to like fully yeah, was... eradicate the Earth and everyone in it. Like, sure, the, the plan was split into multiple pieces, but if you want a typical, no one really, or at least no one we know of, really died during that. Except for old yeah. man Jenkins. Except for old man Jenkins, whose house happened to be right along the crack of one of those divisions. I told you, no good would come from egg folk and their flying machines. And they're flying machines. 
But no, I, I was like, I thought Old Man Jenkins went down by a firing squad. Oh, yeah. What was that? This game is uh, making me want chocolate truffles now. I mean, I don't, I don't have this stage be as proof that this game wasn't being creative with its level design. Yeah. Well. Or, or that, or that, or that it was not being none creative. Like, I I right. Like I don't think it's gonna work. Like, like the whole, like what? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, for what it's worth, like it's not Lost World. At least tries to play around with some of his old tropes at times, even though the sometimes pancakes look much more pleasing than the actual Ooh. background. Ooh, pancakes. Yeah. But yeah, like. Pancakes. Anyway, like um, it's it's kind of funny thinking about it because like there's yeah like there's dessert there's dessert ruins where it's they're literally just playing around with the name by itself. But like then you get to the frozen factory, honestly one of my least favorite stages <laughs> in the game, and it's like you got like the third world area, which is literally a fucking casino. It's like okay, I see you're trying to pull that thing. I see you're try trying to pull the same crap that Mario did with the 3D games. We have to have a casino stage in a Sonic game. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, though, I'll admit, this is probably one of those... This might... Well, you know what? I'll save those thoughts for when we get to Frozen Factory. But with that said, yeah. since now that we've taken care of three out of the, three out of the four um, Desert Ruined levels, now we get to the fourth one, where we will ta where we will face Zonum once and for all, and literally kick that guy straight to a diet. All right. Yeah, really. guy in this diet. Um, oh, boy. Oh, there's a giant ass sandwich. Diet and exercise. Diet, three words. Whoa! Oh, ah! hey. oh, oh she's gonna pull Christ. a fill of CDs on us. Don't talk with your mouth full. The day, the day when Sonic was freaking outsmarted by a sandwich. More like the moron holding a sandwich. <laughs> I can't believe he took him that many bites, realized he had no mustard. But time to run now. Oh no, a tornado hitting! And would you believe it that Zonum is the one that's causing that tornado? Wow. I would. Uh, see how much food he I ate think before so? this. <laughs> yeah. Like the dude. I mean, say what you got, say what you will about the guy guy and his um, dietary failures. The dude's got anchor arms. Oh, is that what? Anchor is that their justification arms. for it? Yeah, you'll see when we get to the actual right. boss fight. Oh, I was gonna blame it on the fact that he that he was eating a whole lot and his lava was, was three bean burritos. Oh dear God! If that were the case, then the tornado should be brown. Yeah, also, true. Also, I'm pretty sure it would, when. Yeah. You better not make fun of my size. Well, too bad, Fatty. But um, anyway. Yeah, much. I think we've already mentioned it before. <gasps> Hey, I recognize you. Hey. Knights mode, activate. Go. Go. Woo! With the heavy drum and bass. So yeah, much. Like, so yeah, returning from Sonic Colors, we got the drill ability again, and they don't use it as often as they did in the original in Sonic Colors, but it's mm -hmm. still pretty potent. Yep. Mm -hmm. also, and knows that, the, knows that these bad nicks have uh, uh, these bad nicks have springs on them. Also, what happens? I always wondered. I know that as you're drilling, like, you know, part of your trail's caving in. What happens if you were to hit that? Oh, nothing. Yes, okay. No, that's my it, question. Basically, it's basically it's just your just the means for you to well try to keep try to keep the face up. Otherwise, if that catches up with you, you die. Mm. It's like it's like the it's like it's like the uh, it's like the ground is caving in on you from behind. Oh, Don't ask me how that oh. works. Well, I didn't know it was possible to stop while in drill mode. I thought you were just constantly going. It's happened to me before in Sonic Colors, and yeah. that was not fun. Yeah, this turn be totally isn't repetitive by now. There. Whoa, that was weird. Wasn't it though? Yeah. And now we're back with the tornado shenanigans. Stupid yeah. tornado. Man, what I would get, what I would give to have tails on the tornado right about now. So I, I'm, I'm so sorry, I forgot again. What's the point of doing the red rings? We don't to be need, super sonic. We don't, we're not doing any of those bonus things, are we? Just for Supersonic. And yeah, again, with the PC version, they don't actually include those circus bonus stages, so... Yeah, if you if you really don't want Supersonic, there's really... Fuck. I shouldn't uh -oh. have done that! What Look have I got that to live for? Missed. They're going in the tornado! Oh god, they're oh, all dying! No! Oh god, we died. Die again! But yeah, all things are like, if you're not... If you don't really care about Supersonic, there's really no point to go after the Red Rings in yeah. the PC version. I just we do it because, that. honestly, my, it, it, honestly, it's just the... It's just the, um... Compulsive instincts within me that just right, wants me to go grab it. 
Well, say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, because I think this is actually one of the first Sonic games I can think of that, like, I played in a while, but one of the first Sonic games where you don't need Super colors. Sonic to beat the final boss. Yeah. yeah, this, there's this and there's Sonic Colors. Yeah, Sonic Colors. Oh, yeah, oh. Colors. Unless you're, unless you're playing the DS version where, where Super Sonic is mandatory to get, the, get to the true final boss. If Sonic Whoa. Forces has the OC character go Super Sonic <laughs> from the Chaos Emeralds, I'm calling Sonic. You know they will. Are you talking about Omelette? <laughs> To be fair, anyone can go turn super with the Chaos Emeralds. No. Wow, even the bone. Excuse you. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You no, know, you can't choke on that bone. Attack him. Oh, if he lands on the ground, I he gets stunned. Like... Yeah, because, you know, that fuck. I love how, even though you're stunned, like, Sonic doesn't really look like he's in any danger. He looks more annoyed hey. than After him. It's like, he looks more annoyed than anything. He's like, huh. Hey, jerk. You get it! You get it! Sorry, back to you, Hyde. So no, I already said what I needed to say. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you doing? Thing again. He's... Yep, now we got nowhere to run and nowhere oh, to hide. Boy. We literally have to deal with Tubby here and now. You know when the tornado is obscuring everything but his arms, it almost kind of looks like Bowser. Yeah, I was gonna say, it does look like Bowser. Oh, <laughs> dang it, you missed your chance! Oh god, you're, oh, god, you're right, it does look like Bowser. Yeah. yeah. Only, only one problem. Bowser only has four fingers. This one has five. Curses. Clearly must mean he's the genie. That... The genie? He may as well be. Long story short, it's a reference to how in the beginning of Aladdin, everyone says, like, you know in the beginning of Aladdin that, like, uh, that merchant guy? Oh, yes, him. Like, it's been it's been proven that he is the genie, and a lot of people are like, yes, I knew it, because he, he noticed all the human characters have five fingers, but he only has four. Then the fact that he's voiced by Robert yeah. Williams. Yes. Oh, this that scene. Oh, yeah, this scene. I can create. It's funny thinking back on it because, like, I heard that line. It's like it's like one of those out. Of, we didn't know the context for it at the time. It's like, what's this about a giant sandwich? <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the first cutscenes that they actually made public of Sonic Lost World mm -hmm. before its release. I'm a compassionate man. That shell looks You're compassionate, like all right. If I weren't, I'd throw you off a cliff. Sonic, don't do it. Get away! Eggman shell is gone. You devil damn idiot. Mistake. This fucking Whatever. exchange I still love to this day. To Especially from Eggman, like, Jesus Christ. Keeping six angry Zeddy from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. And at that moment, Sonic knew. He, he gone up. punched up! So, is there, uh, just a, is there just a switch in their mind? That's it? So why are all his robots controlled by magnetism? Because They explain it later. Basically, the Zeddy has... Can, I don't exactly remember what it is. Basically, they can control robots by their own minds or whatever. I don't know what exactly. Robotics. Cubot. Actually, that's something. I Oops. Oh hey, he sold the voice thing. And actually, that's yeah, his I'm voice thing is about. It's like they make a cannon that they can control the robots, oh. and they're taking control of all the badniks here. How come they <gasps> never? Oh, my mustache. Oh, boy. How come they never tried to take over Orbot and Cubot? Because. What, what what purpose would they serve in their army? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He probably just could, he would probably just consider them duds. Mm. And there they go. <laughs> well, I would say to be fair, Sonic. I would I would say that to be yeah, you should have, idiot. You think? I would say to be fair, Eggman can run as fast as Sonic, if not faster, as we learned in Sonic. Two, two or three. Uh, both actually. Uh, two. I thought three did it too. Yeah, they both did it. How can a bad man run that effing fast? <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Just because he can run that fast doesn't mean he can keep running that fast for a long period of time. Unlike Sonic here, where he practically do it and do it and do it an entire day. But gasp, Ew. we actually have to work together now. Yep. Oh, what else is new? With that said, ladies and gentlemen, tune in next part as we go as we retreat to the tropical coast. Till next time, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.